Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the, well, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, you know, the timing is fluid. I just did the three card message for, or a three card message for my members. Very interesting. So what do we have for a message today? The Hierophant. So this is a message from spirit, right? Uh, the Hierophant is divine guidance, higher power. Listen, listen to your gut, listen to your intuition, have faith, believe, believe in yourself. We may have a teacher here or a mentor. Mentor. This is somebody that has a direct connection to God, perhaps. Um, the Hierophant represents um, traditions, commitments, rules, regulations. Um, but when I get this card, it tells me that you need to have faith, you need to believe, and you need to listen. Somebody needs to listen. Somebody could be receiving some advice from an individual that is very wise that has a lot of wisdom um this card does represent taurus but it also represents god or a higher power um believe in yourself listen listen to your gut have faith have faith there's a higher power involved here power involved listen this has to do with some sort of commitment believing in oneself oh let's cut the deck huh of swords queen of swords she's sharp intelligent to the point right she cuts to the chase she has some sort of truth or information this is a professional this may be somebody that is a professional speaker somebody that's in a professional position um, looks like she is questioning things she may be having a conversation with someone making a decision that is the sword of truth it is also the sword that cuts so she looks kind of pissed so maybe she's doing something she has some sort of truth and she's you know she's saying it she's telling it like it is she may be giving somebody a new perspective three of cups reversed is parting ways from friends or family the party is over the honeymoon is over there's a lack of emotional growth this could be some sort of termination of some sort may have something to do with a third party could have something to do with a friendship could have something to do with family Whatever it is, these two, it's interesting. She's turning her back on something. The like Queen of Swords is turning her back on something. It's it, people on people. Um, making a decision based on the facts, based on the truth, okay? That's what the Queen of Swords does, okay? She's very truthful, forthright, sharp. Okay, very, this is the cold, hard truth and nothing but the truth, okay? So she may be, you know, she can... She, she delivers the truth, she delivers the evidence, you know, she has some sort of information. So she may be saying something or doing something, looks like she's not very happy. Um, she brings about transformation, okay? So she could be transforming somebody's life with this information or this truth that she is about to probably expose or question or something like that. Um, three of cups, reverse, parting ways, separating, termination, party is over. This party is over. It's over. Somebody's not happy. They're not happy at all. And I don't know if there's too many people involved or what it is, but we have a decision that is being made for sure. Either a friendship is being questioned or a third party is being questioned or 
uh, happiness is being questioned, a reunion could be being questioned, a termination could happen. Three of Wands, no, Three of Wands, it looks like in this card, somebody's made up their mind, they're prepared, the wait is over, time's up, maybe it's time to go. There's been a level of indecision, but that period is over. There's been a period of waiting, okay? The period, get prepared, get prepared because there's about to be some movement. There's about to be a change. Somebody's ship could also be coming in. There could be an arrival or a departure here. There's some sort of divine guidance with the Hierophant. I feel like there's some sort of arrival. There is an arrival of some sort. Or there's travel. So it could be an arrival or a departure, but there is some sort of travel that is indicated. Time's up. The wait is over. This has to do with some sort of commitment. Hoping for the best. This is hoping for the best making a decision, listening to the intuition, listening to the gut, has received the guidance. Somebody has received some sort of guidance. Six of Pentacles, ooh, right under the Hierophant. So this is being well paid, getting rewarded. Um, there's been some sort of abandonment or neglect or hardship, it's over. There's, good, there's a rebalancing, there's justice here. There's justice, we have the scales, so this is um, getting some sort of recognition. Faith paying off, this is faith and this is paying off, so somebody's faith may be paying off. Everybody gets what they deserve, you reap what you sow, believe it, believe it. That's the truth. That's the Queen of Swords, that's the truth, okay? Um, a Six of Pentacles, being well paid, something could be taken away and given to someone else. This is about give and take, what goes around comes around. Believe it. There's a higher power that sees all. The higher power sees all. Somebody's about to receive something. Or they have received something. The Hierophant is the highest authority because there's a direct connection to God. Rules and following the rules, doing the right thing. Ooh, look at that, Ten of Cups, wow. This is happiness, the storm is over. There's been, some something could be coming back with the Three of Wands. Somebody may have sent something out in good faith and now it's coming back around. The rewards are coming back. Good people receive rewards. Something could be coming back. Somebody could also be leaving a situation. Somebody could be leaving a relationship. Just saying, this is a relationship. This is a 10. This is, could be leaving, okay? Somebody could be leaving a relationship. They're being, there is divine guidance here. This is about receiving. This is about reciprocation. It's about equality. It's about getting what you deserve. And, and the Queen of Swords is all about decision. Right? And integrity and authenticity. The Queen of Swords is the most authentic. Oh, she, okay? She's very authentic. She's sharp. She's to the point. She don't pussyfoot. Not going to, you know, tell you what you want to hear. Right? It's not like the other ones, you know. I'm not even going to say it because people get triggered. But she's very, this is what it is. Authenticity, Queen of Swords, very authentic, very, very, uh, well, she gives people new perspective. She transforms things. Okay, so hmm, something is coming back around. It was sent out. Time's up. The wait is over. Somebody could also be leaving a relationship. They're looking for something more. They're, this is about give and take. It's about balance. It's about happiness. And there's a decision that is being made because Queen of Swords is, is a decision maker. Wow, look at, they're all upright. That does not happen. Three of Cups wasn't 
upright because somebody's not happy, okay? There's a termination. There's a parting of ways with the Three of Cups reverse. Anyhow, the Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity that is waiting. And here, it's coming. It's coming. Get prepared because an opportunity is coming. This is a gift. This is a, this is a golden opportunity for long-term stability. This could be a windfall. This could be a blessing. This could be a gift. And there could be a gift for the Six of Pentacles as well. Divinely guided your faith paying off the, the extreme happiness. Get prepared. Get prepared. It's time. It's time to receive. It's time to receive. Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. It hasn't been taken yet. You have to go down that path. This is, a, this is the hand of God. You've been waiting. Wait, the hand of the divine. Somebody's been waiting. Here it comes. This is the opportunity. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Right? An opportunity you can take to the bank. This is, this is huge. An opportunity to go down a new path. Death. The end, the end of a cycle, the end of a relationship. I gotta tell you, there, this it is. This is about give and take. This is about receiving. This is about equality and balance and doing the right thing as well because of the scales and the Queen of Swords. Somebody's gonna be making a decision based on the facts. It has to do with a relationship. The wait is over. It's it, this is it. It's it. It's it. The death card is is it over? It is. Death is final. Death is the end. Okay, it's the end of something. It's a profound life change. It's a transformation. So we have a transition here. We have the end of something, the end of a life, an ending that an ending that leads to a new beginning. The end of waiting. The the end of waiting. Time's up. Believe, have faith. You're about to receive happiness, but there is an ending that comes with it. Ending that leads to a solid opportunity. This is, this is a, a new life. It's a new opportunity. Ah, there. Now we got a reversal. King of Wands reversed. Angry, upset. Unreasonable. The King of Wands reverse is a person, typically a man or a masculine energy. This person may be angry, upset, out of control, forceful, um, unreasonable, entitled, male or female, but it's a masculine energy that may be doing something extremely impulsive because they're angry or upset or unable to control themselves. Um, this can also be uh, somebody that has extremely low self-confidence, low self-esteem that is exerting their power, you know, because they, they're looking, they need to feed their ego because of their low self-esteem, their low uh, self-confidence. So people do that when they have those low self-confidence and low self-esteem, they exert themselves in a negative manner to get attention. So that could certainly be happening. Um, abuse of power, perhaps. Ooh, high priestess. So the high priestess is somebody that sees something, maybe sees somebody's um, behavior, because this could be inappropriate behavior, aggressive behavior, out of control behavior, or controlling behavior. Um, the high priestess is somebody that is very deep, um, observing, reflecting, seeing something. The end of a relationship going to receive something more, something more solid. Somebody's been waiting. The time is up. An offer may be coming. Maybe somebody's ignored an offer. They've ignored an opportunity. There's been some sort of observance, observance of behavior. Somebody is seeing something very clearly. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is very independent, okay? This is somebody who's living a very good life that has stability and security that has worked hard to obtain it. Okay, this is, this is a very independent, strong, determined individual who has created... Uh, abundance for themselves or is doing it okay this is kind of like 
This is somebody that is strong, okay? This is like, if you, I don't know if you've ever noticed, the Venus symbols on her dress. This is the, like the Empress in the Minor Arcana. So this is a, a, an opportunity for growth, fertility, abundance. Somebody is receiving an offer. There is an opportunity here, hasn't been taken yet because it's, it's there, it just hasn't been taken yet. Maybe somebody's been naive, clinging to control. Now the Nine of Pentacles is, is a strong, determined individual who has the skills to succeed that is very comfortable with themselves, you know? Taking action, somebody has is taking action Maybe they've been afraid to take action. But anyhow, the Nine of Pentacles is a very skilled individual. There's something to do with independence here. Maybe somebody's going to be doing something um, that has to do with independence. Somebody could be becoming independent, you know, independently owned and operated. They may be separating. I mean, this is the end. Death is a separation, and this is a relationship. Okay, somebody may be separating from a relationship with somebody. I mean, maybe this person is a narcissist, male or female. Maybe this person is controlling, entitled, unreasonable, self-centered, wants to be in control, knows it all, domineering. Maybe somebody's receiving an offer for security that will secure them. Maybe it's a place to live. Maybe it's a new home. Maybe it's money that breaks them free. Because this is something that you can touch, whether it's the home, the money, the security. This is freedom. Somebody, somebody has been waiting for that moment or they've been, you know, obviously at the a crossroads because the two of wands comes before that. They've been indecisive. Now they're now it's time. It's time to receive. Time's up. Something is coming back. Something or something something is coming. This is something real, solid, stable, secure. Somebody's made up their mind. So either somebody is leaving a relationship that, you know, they weren't getting what they were that what that they deserved. I mean, this is could be a very sudden departure. This is doing something and hoping for the best taking a risk and it there is the death of a situation here an ending that leads to a, a huge opportunity so th we have the end of some sort of relationship and I, I'm, I it is what it is queen of swords talking three of cups reverse is a termination party's over So we have the end of some sort of relationship. Somebody is securing. There's an opportunity here waiting. This, this ending is a new beginning that brings prosperity. It does. But there's some sort of fear, lack of self-confidence, entitlement, and forcefulness. I already went through it. We have somebody here that needs to uh, take action. Okay, they need to take action right now. There may be fear of abuse or fear of um, the unknown. There could be fear of the unknown here. Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is teamwork, togetherness, appreciation, communication, compromising, working together, having a conversation. Somebody's probably been uh, not really listening, but now they may have received some messages. They're being divinely guided. Now their intuition is really speaking to them. They've been afraid of the unknown. But an opportunity is here. It's right here. Let go of your fe fear. You have the skills. You are very capable. This is skilled. There is somebody here that is very, very skilled. There's an opportunity to work with somebody that, you know, can bring abundance. This is collaboration, it's teamwork, it's uh, communication, working together. Nine of Pentacles is an independently owned and operated individual who has worked hard to achieve abundance or has the skills 
to take care of themselves, can take care of themselves. We have somebody here that's been naive. They've been naive. They've probably been listening to poor counsel. But now their gut is really, 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 really speaking to them. Somebody may be receiving an offer that gives them an opportunity to break free from something that was controlling them. Ten of Swords reversed. The worst has happened. Now, something isn't over yet. You thought it was over. It's not over yet. May or may not survive. This has uh, been suffering. Somebody's been suffering. They have. They've been in a very dreadful situation. But it's over. This is like getting back up. Done laying there. Done being walked on. Somebody's been naive, very naive, clinging to control. They've been unreasonable. But they're, they're now it's like they're seeing something via observance and reflection that there's an opportunity to work together with somebody or to go their own way could be go their own way because the nine of pentacles is independently owned and operated successful kind of like entrepreneur there's definitely some sort of anger here anger upset there's been a betrayal there's been pain, there's been suffering. It is ending. This, the pain and suffering is coming to an end. Faith is paying off. Somebody's faith is paying off. This has to do with commitment and receiving reciprocation. And then we have the Queen of Swords who is very decisive, right? She's very to the point, sharp, authentic, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. She doesn't even deal with people who don't speak the truth. Too intelligent to even consider whatever, anything like that. Anyhow, get prepared. Something is coming. Somebody is leaving a relationship to receive something more. Somebody's leaving a situation. Get prepared. They're going in a new direction. There's some sort of uh, travel indicated or movement. The end of something. A profound life change. This is a separation or a loss. It is. Somebody, it's like you knew this was coming. You knew this was coming. You did. There's going to be some sort of communication. There is communication. Collaboration. You thought it was over. It's not over. Hmm. Woo! Queen of Wands reversed. Look at King of Wands reversed. Well, Queen of Wands reversed is somebody that lacks self-confidence, lacks self-esteem, and has some sort of control issues, forcefulness, you know? The Queen of Wands in reverse may be somebody that is temperamental, very uh, throws temper tantrums, um, throws fits, uh, may act impulsively, doesn't think before they act in a dark place. Um, the Ten of Swords reversed. I wonder if somebody's trying to work with somebody to hurt another person. Could be je jealousy. There could be jealousy. People don't like to hear the truth. And the Queen of Swords delivers the truth. There's so many people that don't like to hear the truth. They don't. They want to live in La La Land. The truth triggers them. Doing something hasty. Listen to your gut. 
there's jealousy here so beware there's there's a, there is some sort of jealousy here angry we got somebody here doesn't want to be alone they're in some sort of painful experience they need to get up okay they need to get up they need to listen they need to work with someone else they need to make some compromises they need to learn their value they need to take care of themselves there's an opportunity here for security but you have to take action you have to get up off the ground it's a negative. This is like a negative mindset right here. This Queen of Wands reverse. This is somebody that is doesn't want to hear the truth. Only wants to hear the positive. Which isn't practical. Listen. Be prepared. Get prepared. Life is about to change. We have somebody here that is weak and they need to find their strength. They need to find their strength to change. Make compromises of some sort. It's something about appreciation. It's about working with people that appreciate them, but because of lack of self-value and lack of self-esteem and self-confidence, there's somebody here that keeps getting hurt. But they don't want to hear the truth. Yes. It's time to shed the old to bring in the new. As above, so below, all is seen. We have somebody here that has a uh, direct connection to source. Some, what goes around comes around. There could be something coming back around. You thought it was over. It's not over. Yes, it's action time. It's time to take action. Yes. Doing what? Going to do something. Going to do whatever it takes to have success in abundance. Something is being seen. There is from above. There's universal guidance, there's universal assistance here as above, so below. There's some, there could be some karma that is playing out as well. Willing to do whatever it takes. Getting up, things getting better, things are about to get better. Somebody is going to be putting in effort to build up, build themselves up. They've been in a negative mindset. It's time. It's time to go. It's, it's time to receive. It's, it's time to take action. Yes. Get up. Get up. Work with people that appreciate you. Listen. Listen to your gut. Stop laying there. Stop being a victim. Stop trying to control the situation. Take care of yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Anyhow, we have the death of a situation. Something is coming to an end. This is a profound life change. This is an ending that leads to a new beginning. Somebody's about to do something. Um, they're angry. It, this anger is what sparks it. Good luck.